Safari removes the Google Click identifier in incognito mode. And according to some news, they plan, or maybe already did when you watch this video, uh, to remove it from normal browsing as well. It, you will track less conversions and it will be a negative impact on your Google ads. However, we have a solution. In this video, I will show you the solution for Pixel Your Site. It means that it's a solution for Google Ads and also Google Analytics because Google Analytics as well um, uses this uh, identifier to show you reports about ads. We also have a solution inside Conversion Exporter, which is another plugin from us that sends data directly from your database to Google Ads. It's actually a more reliable way to track um, Google Ads conversions. And we have a solution there as well. Watch that video too. It's on, it's on our YouTube channel. But here, let's configure the alternative solution for Pixel Your Site. Uh, it's based on this idea. We will have a, another parameter, custom parameter, detecting the same value, Google Click Identifier. We will configure this in Google Ads. And then Pixel Your Site will detect this parameter. And if there is no uh, default cookie, so how does it work exactly? Uh, Google Ads, when someone clicks on an ad, configures this Google Click Identifier parameter in the landing URL. The Google tag, which should be installed on your website, looks for that parameter. And when, they when it founds that parameter, it creates a cookie with a particular value. So the value from the parameter is stored in that cookie, and then it's used for um, ad matching and ad measurement. Now, pixel your site will look for the cookie in the browser. If we don't find it there, we will look for the alternative parameter and we will create that cookie ourselves because it means that in that environment, the default parameter were, was removed. Google tag was not able to create the cookie with the value. So we will do it as a backup. Now, to have this work, you need first to go here inside Google Ads, Admin, Tracking, and here you will have to select a new parameter. Let's say this is just a name. You can use any name you want, but here the value is really important. It has to be this. So exactly like this. And with this setup, save it. Google will send two parameters, the default one and the backup parameter, both having the same Google Click Identifier value. And then inside Pixel Your Site, go to Google Tags. Uh, I need to copy the name of the parameter because it has to be the exact name. So go here, look for this option. If you don't see it, update the plugin. It's a new one and save. That's all you need to do. And from now on, Pixel Your Site will try to detect the cookie. If it's not there, we will look for the backup parameter and we will take the value and create the cookie with that value. So uh, Google will be able to detect the cookie. Watch also my solution for conversion exporter. That one has the advantage that uh, we use our own cookie and we store the value with each uh, WooCommerce order or with each uh, WordPress form. And then we export the data from your website into Google Ads. So uh, that's actually, I think, a more reliable solution. It's a new plugin that we have, but uh, we also have this support inside Pixel Your Site for Google Analytics because, I, as I mentioned before, Google Analytics also uses um, the click identifier and for Google Ads. So uh, this is the fix we have for Safari removing very key element from URLs, the Google Click Identifier. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Uh, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.